So you might be asking yourself, how do I find these neat, these really nice looking icons for my website? And I'm going to tell you how. Um, Google is your friend. You can do a Google search. This is a website that I really like. It's called iconarchive.com. And uh, if you just go to iconarchive.com, they actually have tons and tons and tons of different icons. Um, if we skip through, if we look at Robo Bunny Attack here, the coming soon page, I've got three social media icons here. Uh, so let's look at the social media icons. If I go under categories, I can go to social network icons here. And here we have tons and tons of different types of icons and these are you can see how like people give permission for you to use these which is so cool I think so let's have a look I, I chose black gloss social which look kind of cool to me um, you can go ahead and choose any icon set you want and what you have here is a little description of the uh, icon set whoops sorry um, and some advertising and and you'll see the lowest also be like licensing information here in this case this is freeware and commercial uses is allowed so I know I've got permission to download this this sounds awesome and then this shows you this set contains 15 icons here these are all the ones and I want to use, I want a Facebook icon, uh, I want a Twitter icon, and I want a YouTube icon. So that's awesome. That That's exactly what I want. So to download this, I'm going to click on right here, download file. Okay, the formats, it's telling me formats inside are the PNG, all of these are in PNG format. That's perfectly fine. We know that that's one of the three formats that, um, image formats that are acceptable to use on web web pages. So I'm going to click the download button and this is downloading straight to my default downloads folder. That didn't take too long at all. Let's go to my downloads folder and see. Um, there it is right in there. It's a RAR a compressed file. Let's double click on that to open it up. Oh, I'm opening this for the first time. Yeah, yeah, open it. It's totally fine. Go for it. There we go. Okay. And now uh, let's just move that to the desktop and make life a bit simpler. So here is my folder. And let's open it up. And oh, things are organized. These folders are all organized in a slightly different way. It depends on how the author did it. But here what you see is there's three folders inside here. One of them says 64 pics. Another one says 128. Another one says 256. And I'm guessing that that means that we've got um, a bunch of different, we've got different sizes of, of, of images here, of, of uh, icons. And so I'm going to pick, uh, I think I'm going to say, let's open one of these up and just see. Let's take a look at the Facebook one. So there's the, the Facebook icon. And yeah, that looks pretty darn similar to what I'm looking for, isn't it? Let's just compare that here. I'm going to move that. And that looks identical. Okay, so that's the icon that I want. So I know that I want all my icons to be 64 picks. I'm assuming that's what it is. I mean, that's why they named it that. Let's actually do a command I so we can see. Uh, yeah, 64 by 64. That's all good. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag these fold these files, the files I want, into my image folder. I'm not going to bother putting all of these in here. I could, but, you know, I just want to keep this nice and clean. So I know I want the Facebook one. Um, I also want the Twitter one. And I also want the YouTube one. I could just throw all of them in there in case I change my mind later, but that's, that's up to you, okay? So I've got these three uh, image files in there. Uh, that's good. I'm going to go ahead and close that. And so now, let's add these to our page, shall we? Um, where do we want these located? Uh, let's close that and let's see. This is, they're below the email thing, but above the web page design stuff. All right, good. So we're going to put, put the images right here. So um, let's, uh, it's just going to be the same code as up here. Um, and I'm actually going to go ahead and start typing image. The first one is going to be, we want our, I think we want the YouTube one. Um, and this is where, actually, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to do something smart here. I'm going to just type out this stuff. And alt equals, there we go. And that means that I can just copy and paste this. I'm going to have three of them. I'm just going to copy and paste that. It's going to save me a little bit of time. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to put the source, uh, which is we know that it's in the images folder, right? And then we just need to see what it's called. Just remind me of the, uh, 
Uh, let's close that. There we go. Let's just remind me of the actual name of the file. YouTube-64pix.ping. I don't trust myself to actually copy that or uh, type it out correctly, so I'm going to copy that. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that, copy the entire name, and then I'm going to go back to here. There we go. Okay. Copy and paste is your friend. Um, we know from when we looked it up that the width is 64 and the height is 64. And a good alt name for this would just be YouTube. There we go. Um, next, what's the next one that we want? If we go here, next one is Twitter. All right, so let's go. We know it's going to be called Twitter. Let's see what it's called. Twitter-64. I'm going to copy all that. Copy. Let's go back here. There we go. A lot of copying and pasting. If you're smart, try to do more copying and pasting. Get good with your copy and paste. Try not to type this stuff out. Um, and then Alt would be Twitter. All right. And then finally, um, uh, what's the other one? We've got Facebook. Okay, so let's copy that. And it's inside the Images folder, so I'm going to go Images. Oh, see what I did there? I wrote the wrong thing. Wow. You know, even I'm I'm kind of I'm a good example of someone who maybe sometimes doesn't pay attention to detail. So you know, it's a uh, um, it's good practice for me to do this. Okay, and then width is 64, height is 64, and alt tag is going to be Facebook. Now I'm going to save all that. Um, Brian, wondering about something. You're seeing how all these are like just side by side, but how come here I've got them one on top of the other? Right. Well, that's because again, um, the the web browser is going to ignore any any paragraph sh like any line breaks or anything like that when it comes to images. Um, it treats paragraphs. Paragraphs are called block level elements, and and they're actually going to like it, he, you know they're going to start a new line for every paragraph. So the, the the browser knows to put that on the next new line. But images are all treated in line. Like they'll put, the the browser is going to put all those images next to each other if they're just they're just starting with the first one and just going down. Okay. And let me prove that to you. I'm going to go here. I'm going to hit reload. There we go. There's our three images right there. So. Yeah, we're getting there. We're actually coming closer and closer to an actual website. Gosh darn it. How cool is that? All right. Um, that's all I've got for you right now. I hope that you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. And as always, I'll see you next time.